tied with this one. So the final stage is now set. The Indy Speed Seat and the D1 Greyhounds, the biggest rivalry in summer hoops. We're glad to be back in the championship again. Uh, we work hard to get here. We play, play in the Super Pool and uh, we went undefeated in it. So, I mean, we, we've shown that, you know, we can beat the best teams and we just got to do it one more time. You know, we only played against the best and, you know, that's what we came down to do, to play against the best, you know. I mean, our team went pretty far. I mean, we lost some big guys and like, we got Kevin Love, so that kind of helped us. But then he was injured at the end, so it kind of hurt us. Yeah, I think if he would have played this time, I think it would have been a different game. It would have went down to the wire, I think. We having a lot of fun because, you know, most of our games, you know, ain't been as close or tough. So, you know, once we, you know, blow a team out, you know, we get things out the way. We have fun everywhere we go. I mean, it's, 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 it's you know, real serious on the court, but at the same time, we find a way to have some, some kind of fun and, and laugh about it, even if it's on the bench or still in the game. So uh, we have a lot of fun while we're playing. Welcome to the big time, big time, big time. Welcome yeah. to the Indy Speed Seat and the D1 Greyhounds, the biggest rivalry in summer hoops. The finals of the Reebok Las Vegas Big Time Tournament is coming up next. Because we know each other, that makes it the game more intense, and we just want to beat each other, so, I mean, that's what makes for great games. We play them every year. Uh, every time we play them, you know, it's they win one, we win one. And, uh, you know, we both, we're both friends off the court, but on the court, you know, we, we, we're enemies, you know, we'll give each other elbows and try to make each other, you know, mad. It should be a great game. If anyone can beat them, it will be the D1 Greyhounds because there's no quit in those guys. Welcome to the big time, big time, big time. Welcome to the big time, big time, big time. Welcome it's now time for the main event, and the big time wouldn't have it any other way. The Indy Speed and the D1 Greyhounds getting it on, a rivalry like no other. The rivalry between the Speed Indy Heat and the D1 Greyhounds goes back about five years when O.J. Mayo was in sixth grade and Greg Oden was in seventh grade. So because of the proximity of Indiana and Ohio, they were able to play in a lot of regional tournaments. And it was always um, the Speed team that was always getting one arm up on the Greyhounds. And there's a lot of um, intensity and rivalries between the, the head coaches, Dwayne Barnes, as well as Mike Conley. D1 Greyhounds has been, been a, you know, a rival for us for, for many years, even before they were even named D1. Um, O.J. Mayo and, and Mike Conley and those kids have been playing against each other since probably fourth grade. Because we know each other, that makes it the game more intense, and we just want to beat each other, so, I mean, that's what makes for great games. We play them every year. Uh, every time we play them, you know, it's they win one, we win one, and, uh, you know, we both, we're both friends off the court, but on the court, you know, we, we, we're enemies, you know, we'll give each other elbows and try to make each other, you know, mad. The Greyhounds are... You know, they're Georgetown, 1980, okay? Dwayne Barnes has done a wonderful job with a program. I like playing speech, uh, Greg Oden's team, because it's always a great game. It's just, you know, you know it's going to be a big time game, big time atmosphere, and it really lets you know where your team stands. It's always going to be a rivalry, you know? It's always been like that. You know, they want to beat us so bad, and we want to beat them so bad. So, I mean, it just makes the game even better. We're like a Greyhound bus, we never stop working with 24 hours. So. It should be a great game. If anyone can beat them, it will be the D1 Greyhounds because there's no quit in those guys. It should be some interesting matchups in that game. With uh, Mayo, Billy Walker, Tyus uh, going against Odin and Conley and, and Daquan Cook. And Eric Gordon, who's probably the, the best uh, young player in the state of Indiana in the, a year behind Odin and Conley. Right, let's go, let's go. Hey, come here, guys. Listen, listen, listen. Our man. All right. I want everybody tight. Everybody tight. All right. Man to man, tight to start with. Okay. Let's get after it. Go ahead. All right. It seemed early on that the paint was going to be Greg Oden's stomping grounds. D1 has to get a body on the big fella if they want to keep him off the block. Shoot, Mike. Come on, get your hand there, Mike. Okay, there you go. Come on, get it. 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 
Go back, Aaron. Have to go strong. Odin with another block. Aaron Pogue using his big body inside. <laughs> Gotta block out the shooter player. Pogue again in the speed seat by seven. Multiple <laughs> mistakes going across the Greyhounds. Nasty. Dwayne Barnes needs to settle his boys down. Another turnover by OJ. Heat by 11. Get up, get up. Suck it up, Mike. Suck it up. He's tough. OJ's first bucket of the game. Needed something to get him going. with the three, cuts the lead to seven, on, and in. this one is live. It's strong. I'm telling you to do something that's, that's, that's really tough. You know what I'm saying? I understand that. But you kind of get, but I got to have you there before he shoots it. But you, are you getting OJ's head? If you have your hand in the shoot pocket before you Get a run up! Let's go, John! Go! But as he has done all tournament long, Eric Gordon hits a big three to stop any Greyhound comeback. And just as it did in game one with these two teams, things getting heated. When you're playing for a title, what do you expect? Incidental, man! He called Incidental! It. Incidental! He called double tech. Incidental, man! Incidental! That's all accident, man! Let's go, let's go! Help him up, Aaron. Got Toward the end of the first half, OJ threw off the gloves and started taking over this game. First with a dish, and then hits the bomb to get the lead down to four. Deontay Vaughn cut it to two, and it was Spies' turn for the T.O. tournament long, no team had been this close to the heat at halftime. 
and as both teams miss late chances, the score is tied at 33. Welcome to the big time. Coming up, we'll see if the Heat can win back-to-back -back big times and check out some of the breakout players from this year's tournament. Where it all gets settled, come on. RBK big time, 2005, where it all gets settled. Come on. Welcome to the big time, big time, big time. Welcome to the big time, big time, big time. It's been a breakthrough week for a lot of players here at the big time. But a few of these ballers made a serious name for themselves and locked up some big time respect in the process. Devon Jefferson, team Danny Williams. Crazy Hops from Los Angeles. Dropped 25 a game and single-handedly led his team to the Final Four. Nice. Phil Nelson led the Portland Panthers all the way to the Elite Eight in the open bracket. Scored 33 against Team Danny Williams in pool play and filled it up from everywhere all tournament long. Deshaun Sims from the Reach Legends burst onto the scene after his team upset the New York Panthers in the first round. Averaged 21 a game in the tournament, including 33 in the Sweet 16. Brandon Jennings, super quick point guard from the SoCal All-Stars. Only a rising sophomore, but made a strong case this week as the number one player in his class. Will only get stronger as he matures. He can do it all. With the score tied at the half, Dwayne Barnes is looking to stick with his game plan of pushing the ball on every chance. OJ scored 11, and Greg Oden 10, leading the teams respectively. And the nation's number one junior picked up where he left off. The Greyhounds got some mad confidence taking the first lead of the game. And the nation's number one senior continued to rule the post and swatting shots. His fifth block of the game already. This one is going to go down to the wire, and neither team is given an inch. Someone is going to step up on one of these two teams. Like, it's a simple game. They wait and get beat. This is the best position we've ever been in, right? Like, they never been in a game like this. One, two, three, hard work. Step back up. Go, 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 go. Daquan Cook is doing his best to keep the speed in the hunt. Deontay Vaughn is fearless in the paint, taking right. it right to the big man, keeping D1 on top. But Michael Conley, some say the best point in the country, proves it, tying the game at 60. And any time, any time we run any play, you and you can track that gap and tap it, okay? All right, Indiana again. One, two, three, hold. Move, 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 move. And it's Daquan Cook who puts the Spees in the lead with his slam and foul. Spees by three. And it's Eric Gordon again with a monster three. Spees by six with under a minute. The repeat is almost complete. We're going we're gonna to guard the three-point line. Yeah. All right? Because they can't hold the ball make us come out. You see what I'm saying? they got to come at us. Yeah, jump to that side. All right? No, OJ going to be the point. You be on the wing. You be in the corner. We, we got fouls to give. Keep my lane. Keep my lane. EJ, EJ, back just a little. Right there, right there is good. No, that's fine, that's fine. That's good, Pooh. Stay up, Pooh. Stay up, Pooh. Billy Walker's bucket was too little, too late. And the Speed Seat are about to become the first repeat champions in the history of the big time. Repeat.